goodness used to ask Navani constantly whether he was afraid for his life and he'd brush the question off. Then two years ago, he was asked for his message to supporters if he was killed. For the uh, situation when I'm killed, it's very simple, not give up. Without Navalny, though, the future for all Russians who hoped for change has never looked bleaker. Sarah Rainsford, BBC News. Ukraine says its troops have withdrawn from Avdivka, a key eastern town besieged by Russian forces for months. The fall of the city, which is almost completely destroyed, marks Russia's biggest win for months. President Vladimir Zelensky says the decision was taken in order to save the soldiers' lives. He also repeated his request for more financial and military aid to help his forces against the Russian invasion. Our correspondent James Waterhouse is in Kyiv. So James, how significant is the fall of the city? Well, Avdivka, once upon a time, represented Ukraine's industrial might in the east with its uh, chemical and coke plants, which sat prominently on the hill with the city. Over the past decade, with the outbreak of Russia's aggression towards Ukraine, it became a, a stronghold, really, as Ukrainian troops held off wave after wave of Russian attack. But those assaults intensified in recent months, and we have now seen Avdivka like so many other settlements on the front line, drained of life and reduced to rubble. Now, President Zelensky was speaking here in Munich to other world leaders where he said his troops would pull back to save lives, but also that...